For the first release of MLB The Show on the PlayStation 4 last year, we started laying the groundwork for the new features and upgrades in the graphics department for years to come. Let's take a look at what the second year on PlayStation 4 has allowed us to do in the area of graphics and lighting. For the first time in the show, we have dynamic sun and shadows that are generated in real time. They are based on the seasons because the shadows in April are much different than the shadows in sun position in June. This change gives the stadiums new life, as their visual footprints will change over the course of the year. In previous versions of the show, the sun position and shadows were static and remained the same no matter the month. Also this year, we've updated the grass patterns in all 30 stadiums to better reflect real life. In addition, using our new color matching technology, every major league stadium has the correct grass and dirt color. You'll notice the dirt on the infield starts off wet and begins to dry out as the game progresses, just like you'd see in real life. This year, our stadium art team has redone all the backdrops and press boxes for every major league stadium. You'll see more accurate scenes and press boxes with greater detail than last year, along with lit buildings in the background during night games. We've also added various new updates to stadiums, such as the new Jumbotron in Petco and Ballpark Village in Bush Stadium. Finally, we've created 10 new minor league stadiums for your Road to the Show character to play in this year. Let's take a quick look. There's Wagon Man Stadium, Center City Field, Red Rock Stadium, Main Street Field, Riverboat Field, Highland Park, Oak Street Park, Bayfront Park, and Iron Horse Stadium. Thanks for watching, and be sure to pre-order your copy of MLB 15 to show right now. PlayStation.